Hey Curious Kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are going to be talking about Venus. If you noticed, it was missing from the planets in the back. Something super exciting was discovered on Venus recently. It's all over the news, so we're going to talk about it. We have found what could be the signs of alien life on Venus. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Kevin, are you telling us that we just found aliens? No, not yet. So what did we find and what does it mean? We're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna try and make it really easy to understand. So we look at Venus here and we got these white streaks. Those are the clouds. So Venus has clouds all over the surface. So you can't really see the sun when you're standing on the surface of Venus. You can't do that by the way. No one ever has yet. Oh. Now we found a gas. So gas, you've heard of things like solids that are hard, liquids like water, and then gas like air. So we found a particular gas called phosphine or PH3. So those letters and numbers just tell you what kind of gas it is. So we found phosphine in the clouds. Now why is this so exciting? Well here on earth we find phosphine when it's associated with or like linked to bacteria, tiny little living things that don't need oxygen to live or grow. What that exists? You, something is alive that doesn't need oxygen? Yeah, well it's not humans because we need oxygen, but there's tiny little bacterias that they don't need oxygen to survive and they give off this phosphine. So when we're finding phosphine at Venus, it could mean we're finding something alive that's given off this phosphine. So that would be really cool. We're not sure yet. There's only a small amount of phosphine. We need more to give us a really good feeling that it could be down there. Let's look at it this way. So here on Earth, what do, you, what do you breathe in? We breathe in oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. But plants, there are many more plants than there are humans. Plants inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. So there is a lot more oxygen in our air, in our atmosphere. So if you're really far away from Earth and you look at Earth, you can see the oxygen in the atmosphere. And that tells you that there's living things on Earth because there's so much oxygen there. So oxygen on Earth could be like the phosphine on Venus. There's living things there and then there's phosphine and that's how you can tell. So we're gonna study Venus more. Like this has given us a lot more excitement, a lot more hope that maybe, just maybe, we have aliens over at Venus. Now phosphine is something we call a biosignature or a sign of life. Bio, like biology, us, life, and signature is like what you sign, your name, and it's unique to each and every one of you. You've got your own, and I've got my own. So we have biology, life, signature, unique. So it's unique life, essentially right there is what we're looking at. Now, where do we find phosphine on Earth? Well, we find it in swamps, wetlands, sludge, or even animal guts. Yuck. If you think that's yuck, they say it smells like decaying fish oh, or garlic. I don't, I don't like either of those smells. No, stay away. So but, but let's, let's think about this. It would be really, really exciting if that phosphine is coming from tiny little aliens that are in the clouds of Venus. So we're gonna study Venus more to see if we can figure that out. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is the biggest planet in our solar system is C, Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Now, this week's question is, what is the name of my dog? <laughs> is it A, A, Apollo, B, Titan, C, Europa, or D, Cat? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.